Hello and welcome back. In this one, we want to add uh, our lovely table here. All right, so let's uh, not waste any time and just get to it. All right, so POS screen, and uh, we are done with this one. So let's just go ahead and close it. All right, so this is the widget that's going to contain our table. So what we're going to do is orientation is vertical, right? Uh, because we want to lay out our widgets from top to bottom. All right, and in here, let's just add a back box. All right, and uh, this back box is going to be this, uh, like the header bar, basically. All right, so we're just going to put that back there. All right, and... Uh, Go ahead and size this. So size hint Y for this back box. Well, it's going to be none. And the height for this is going to be, I'm going to go with 48 for now. We can always change this later. The B color is actually going to be app.color secondary BG. All right. And then in here, we now need our titles. All right, so first let's add some spacing and the spacing is going to be, yeah, let's do 12. 12 should be it. All right, so text. Actually, before text, I would like to add some padding as well to the left and the right. So as far as left and right is concerned, we'll do 12. Top and bottom, we don't really need it, but yeah, let's just do two. Anyway, let's add our headers, so text. And the text for this is going to be, we have product code and the font name is going to be uh, app.fonts.heading. All right. And then the font size, I'm going to go with app.fonts.size.h2. The color is going to be app dot uh, color secondary mm, primary text let's do primary text primary text like that all right and with that what we can do now is basically uh, let's v align it first so v align to this uh, middle middle like that and now let's just go ahead and duplicate this uh, we have one two three four so one two three four lovely all right and we're just gonna oh let's capitalize that let's change this to product name and uh, this is supposed to be quantity so QTY and then uh, the last one is price price like that and what I want to do is size these a bit so you see from this uh, product name takes uh, a lot of size as compared to the rest of them all right so what we're gonna do is uh, let's play with these sizes all right so I will do let's say product name takes uh, 0.4 which leaves six. Oh, this is gonna work out so if I just do two, we now have 60%. Now we have 80% and now we have 100%. Lovely. Let's go ahead and uh, add our box layout. And this box layout is going to be the actual uh, container for the products. All right. So with that, let's for now, let's just run this and see what we have so far. And it's looking pretty good if I say so myself. So product code, name, and all that. But whew, I actually, mm, yeah, the font is too big. But everything is looking pretty sweet. All right. Uh, just going to close out of that one. And uh, mm, 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 mm. what's up? All right, let's do this. Let's add some padding here to the right right so it's gonna be zero at the left zero at the top right let's do 24 and then bottom let's do zero and what I'm actually doing is uh, let me just show you 
oh and it just worked out is you'll notice before this was stretching right so i want to align it to the top text field so now it's aligned all right now let's uh, deal with that font sizing issue so point three point three uh point three that's uh that should be 18 i believe if 18 uh, uh actually i think i think i think i think yep i think we'll go with 18. okay so now the next thing we want to do is uh, a pretty simple one we want to add a scroll view because we want such that uh when we have too many products we can literally just uh drag to scroll through them all right so that one is going to be a scroll view all right that's what we use to scroll and we're going to tell qv how to scroll our scroll view with do scroll so do we want to scroll on the x-axis then no so this will be false do we want to scroll on the vertical axis then true all right and then what i'm gonna do is uh give this scroll view a size so that it knows when it's time to scroll all right so none and we're basically going to say the height is going to be uh self dot parent dot height so what this is is basically telling the scroll view that uh when we have widgets and these widgets combined size combined height is greater than the height of our parent here then enable scrolling that's basically it all right now with that done i'm going to add a grid layout all right so the grid layout is the uh, actual container that's going to contain the widgets that are going to be scrolling so let's give it an id and this id is going to be i'm going to do gl products for you know grid layout products right size hint y for this grid is going to be none and by default the height of this grid is going to be its own minimum height so minimum minimum height right and then uh we need to tell this grid how to lay out its children so we're going to say calls with one which basically means uh the columns is going to have a maximum column count of one that basically means we only have one column then we are going to have as many rows as we want all right and i'm just going to put that up there and then i'm going to tell this grid how to space our widgets so i want 12 spacing do i need padding i do not so we're just gonna leave it like that and uh what we're going to do next is uh you know just to demonstrate let's go ahead and uh copy our box here this is the one all right and we're going to create uh, a new widget right at the bottom here and I'm just gonna call this uh, product tile all right and this is going to be the widget that uh, is responsible for displaying our product so basically this right here all right so let's go ahead and uh, in here let's just paste all of this in all right and then just uh yeah that's it but uh this widget right now is not really created in our python file which means we can't use it outside this kv file all right let's fix that real quick and we can do that by simply copying this right and putting it down here and then we can uh, call it what we want which is product tile like that and it expects this render function so let's put it down there as well like that and just like that we have a new custom widget so let's go ahead and test out our grid layout here so I'm just gonna add a product tile right and I'm just gonna duplicate this like that now I'm gonna run this all right and the result is what you see here so we can scroll as you can see and that is going to be the start of our uh, product view here so i'm going to leave this here for now if you have any questions regarding what we just did please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section otherwise thanks for watching uh, please subscribe if you haven't already if you have well i will see you in the next one thank you